Either way, I still had sex with my sibling, and that's weird. Yes, but half not your sibling, so that's the silver lining. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 39 of Dropouts. Um, this week, Jared found his dad, right, Jared? Hell yeah. No, you didn't. No. He's still in a vial somewhere, and you know that. Wait, no. No, I Jared was in, was in a oh, vial. Oh, my bad. I mixed <laughs> it up. Actually, you know what we figured out? That what? you're not the only test tube baby. Riley's a test tube baby. She's a Petri dish baby. Same thing. Very similar. Wait, are you guys like rivals? Like the test yeah. tube versus the Petri dish? Yeah. 100%. What do you mean? How are you a test tube versus it's like a Petri the, dish? The jets and the shark. The oh, sharks from you are already. Okay, that makes sense. You were. Okay, that makes sense. I you get guys it should now. get in a physical altercation to see who's the superior. Petri oh. dish babies or test tube babies? Yeah. Well, considering I'm like eight inches taller than Riley, I feel like. That would. I think you're a lot. Are you saying maybe women? ten inches? I, I definitely think she's like five. Are you saying two. women aren't equal to men? That's exactly what he's saying. That is not what I'm Dude, saying. I think that's I'm super, just saying it's so super degrading. Super that is, yeah. No, no, hit some I'm intro not, music. No, I can't I'm not to hitting this. intro. I intro do not. Hit intro music. I don't think that. I think that women are you. amazing, I can't even look at strong, right now. independent. Disgusting. People. I almost you know was it's Women's History hit, Month, and, and you I really literally just was, degraded women. Like I was that? almost breastfed, so that's disgusting that you would say that. <laughs> what? The fact that it's Women's History I'm, Month and you degrade women like that is insane. Wow. Did not degrade place. women. Yeah, I'm going to roll the intro music because I respect women and think they are amazing. Um, let's go, liar. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not a liar. Uh, Indy, are you just not saying what's up B words anymore? Well, I say it after the freaking thing. She does say it. I think. Yeah, I think most of the time right. she says it before. I sometimes I say it both, but I'm realizing it, that must be annoying, so I'm gonna say it now. What's up, B words? Welcome back to episode 39 of Dropouts. There what? What? Guess what I spent my. I mean, it was a Wednesday doing. You guys come home yesterday? We For, came home on Tuesday. Jared and I went to Vegas to get our haircuts because I tried to get my <laughs> haircut in Los Angeles, and they got done cutting my hair, and they said, "Hey, that'll be seventy five dollars." I said, "Hey, give me my hair back then, because I'm not paying that." And they said, <laughs> Too late, already swept it up, so I had to pay $75. So Jared and I decided to go to Vegas where haircuts are only $35. But you spend money on No, it was literally cheaper. It was cheaper to buy gas. And that way I could see my mom and my granny who was in town as well. That makes know? sense. Your granny and your mom are coming tomorrow. My granny and my mom are coming to L.A. tomorrow. That's going to be a fun time. It is going to be fun. Um, before we get into anything, I thought it was kind of cute. So Jared and I went to uh, Caesar's Palace. That's where my granny was staying. And we go get a late night meal. And um, my granny and her husband, Robert, um, my step-grandpa, are eating dinner together. We get smash burger. We get, like, we get all together. We get smash burger. And, it, like, they're doing, like, that lovey-dovey couple stuff, but they've been together for, like, 70 years. And they're, like, sharing french fries, and he has the last french fry on his plate. And without even looking at her or saying anything, he keeps the conversation, takes the french fry, and puts it on her plate. It was the cutest thing like the most like pure and no one mentioned it it was just like oh that's it what, was just unspoken love that's what love is that's that's the goal in the future so if i'm not putting french fry on some seven year old lady's plate one day i don't want it well but isn't then, that on you yeah it's on me but yeah, i need to find really. the, i need but, to find the female that wants to do that with me someday it's worth the last i spoke to him about this yesterday i said zach do you ever think that you would let me have the last fry he goes no because you eat the first 99 <laughs> <laughs> well you do I, oh, it's not that it's, I don't hate you for this. <laughs> I am very frustrated though. I like to get ice cream. It's my thing. I like, I enjoy nice creamed ice and, um, Indy's like, creamed ice. That I, was I so thought weird. that was weird too. <laughs> Indy's like, I don't want any ice cream. And then I, I say again, Indy, would you like some ice cream? And she said, no, I asked her three more times because I know she's going to want and some. And I'm like, Zach, stop asking me if I want ice cream. I don't want ice cream. And then I receive my ice cream and I'm happy because it's the perfect amount of ice cream for my six, three body. I'm like, this is going to fill me up and make my sweet tooth go away. And then Zach has a really bad sweet tooth in case you guys did you already finish the bag of m&ms stay out of this you did didn't you? <laughs> no stop that's crazy. don't call me out for my sweetness he already finished like a family size thing of m&ms first of all a single family a but, single family <laughs> uh just just the mothers there it's not oh, it wasn't the biggest bag um but no and then indy likes to take my ice cream and absolutely all of it and then run away I had like three bites you had like half so Zach, do you ever see no way i ate half i can barely finish a meal and you that's think why i, I was half? surprised it was, no. a, it was almost like you were full and you're still doing it out of spite because you didn't want me to have it. Probably. Any. Anyway, they went to Vegas. That was exciting. Um, I realized I have separation issues and I can't go five minutes without talking to them or anyone for that. <laughs> Jared and I it noticed. so frustrating when you're trying to drive and listen to music and like vibe out and listen we love you we love hearing from you but it's like <laughs> I, we couldn't make it through a song without <laughs> getting a call. And She'll literally call and be like Zach I forgot to breathe but I remember it again and, and we're like <laughs> Sick, sick. I'm sorry, guys. No, it, it's no, funny. It's, it's okay. It's the funny. The craziest thing is if if Jared and I are ever talking about you, you call. Really? Oh my I god! Promise every it's, time. 
literally it's there was like there was one time uh i had texted hannah because like you know we like to talk on facetime or whatever whenever i'm not doing anything and uh and i texted her i was like oh i don't think we're doing anything tonight so like we can facetime and as soon as i hit send boom facetime call from <laughs> indy and she's like we're doing something tonight <laughs> and i was like i then i uh, get off the phone with her and i have to text hannah never mind we're doing something <laughs> tonight <laughs> But the most recent FaceTime Jared and I got was um, you ripped your own fingernail off on FaceTime and made <gasps> oh, us watch. Oh, do you want a video oh of my it? God. Oh, did you film yeah, it? Yeah, we filmed it that's, for the podcast. That's disgusting. Wait. It was. Well, we saw it live and it was not. Well, I want the viewers to see it. Hold I don't on. know if they want to see it. Yeah. We'll just, uh, you know, put, we'll a put in a warning. warning. It's gross. Oh, I have to get it off. <laughs> oh. God, you just fucking you meant it. You have to take it off. <laughs> just spinning it. Oh my god. Well, it's off. Oh my god. It's been about a month since that nail incident happened, and it keeps like knocking and slowly just ripping and ripping and ripping. And uh-huh. tonight was the final straw. I like hit it against my leg by accident, and it started to rip. And I went, I've just got to get this off. I've Did it hurt get it when off. you ripped it against? It didn't actually hurt as bad because I had le- it had been so long, like it had all pretty much healed. Yeah. But it was just the nail was just kind of loose. So we got it on video. I'll get you guys to watch it. But God, that was disgusting. Did you so pray about it? Now there's just, huh? <laughs> what, Zach? What? <laughs> did you say, did I pray about it? Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> so now there's just like the tiniest stub of a nail and just like nothing there. And it looks so gross. What do you name your stub? Anyway, I want to talk about something because I kind of got f***ed over too. So the boys went to Vegas, right? And Las. Las Vegas. <laughs> you do that every time. What? They went there and Zach was like, hey, Indy, do you, na- do you know any cleaning people? We want to get the feeling of six men living in an apartment for two years together out. But we're, it's just us now. So we we need to clean out the rest of the four people that used to live here so then we can start fresh. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. Nothing had really ever been cleaned in this place. Surface, like they'd wiped over some stuff. But with all due respect, with six boys living in this apartment, like it just never was going to be clean. Like it just- First of all, five men and one boy. Jared, you're the boy. I'm the Um, boy. Whatever. I asked one of my friends who like has a contact for absolutely everything. I'm like, hey, do you know cleaning people? He goes, yep, my people are great. They're like 200 to 300 bucks to do a huge deep clean of an apartment. And I was like, that's not bad. Wow, that's expensive. It's expensive, (laughs) but to do the work that Veronica did in that kitchen. Thank you, Veronica, if you're watching. Thank you, Veronica. To do the work that Veronica did in that kitchen, she took out every, dude, deep clean this place, spotless, beautiful cleaning. But when they came home, they came at about 10 a.m. and I was here at 10 a.m. cleaning like both rooms as well, just like organizing stuff and like picking up because they have to, you got to pick up before they clean, right? So I was here the whole time. They were here till about eight o'clock. They were here all effing day, right? And I told the boys it was going to cost one fifty. Because originally you said it's going to be like $250, two fifty, three hundred. Yeah, like, I told them it was going to we be like, like, yeah, like, well, we're we'll just gonna. do it ourselves. They said yeah. no, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm going to tell them it's one fifty because, and I'll just pay the difference, right? Thinking it's going to cost me like one hundred and fifty bucks it, to pay the difference, right? Thank you, Indy. Thank you, Indy. Because I knew that this place needed a clean. It just did. I was like, I'll do something nice. I'll just pay the difference, right? And it's also our studio too, so it's do like you guys want to know how over I got. Uh, um, <laughs> it, it was more than covering one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. How much I, more? I messaged her once she left, and I went, "Hey, just let me know." Like expecting, because Nick told me that she, it would be between two hundred and three hundred dollars. She goes, "Yeah, okay, that'll be five hundred and fifty dollars, please." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I bet now you wish you didn't book it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I bet you I wish bet you, you let us. You couldn't go back on it because you told us 150. I couldn't go back on it either, but they had cleaned the place. The place oh. was clean, and I was like, uh, $550. So your apartment just cost me $400. I'm $400 to clean. Wow. Plus we, tip. And you t- wow. Wait, I don't get that. Why do you have to tip them if they... Because it doesn't go older then. Oh, oh, it they, doesn't? A lot of it goes to the clean... Because they're part of a cl- an agency. Oh, oh, okay. So I thought it was. I was like, that people. doesn't make sense. I was like, you just paid them to clean their apartment, no, because and then just paid them more. <laughs> no, because some of it goes to the agency, and I don't know how much. So I was like, I'll tip. Because, because oh, okay. I was like, because Andy's Venmo wasn't working. I was like, okay, I'll just Venmo him. And then she's like, no, 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 don't. And I said, oh, it was more money than that, but she's just being nice. And I let you have it because I didn't think you wanted me to know. I didn't. So I was like, okay, cool. Until I got the fucking price, and I went. 
It was four hundred dollars more. But now we appreciate it even we more. Do appreciate- I hope I okay, question: This more. apartment, like we came back and it was spotless. Shot, like it looks better like, than the day they got it. We- she like <laughs> completely deep cleaned their fridge. Can you pass me that? Yeah. She scrubbed grease off of the ceiling. Like when you're cooking, like the the stove, like over the stove, the ceiling was kind of like brown from like grease and stuff that you know was in like smoke or whatever. That wasn't steam. us though. That was definitely the other four boys, right? Definitely. No, definitely. Honestly, I feel like it was from them making weed peanut butter here oh yeah they used to make oh weed yeah peanut butter. that i forgot about that Dude, they got so high off weed peanut butter first off this is the craziest story that no, probably nobody's gonna believe they got the weed from a shipwrecked boat underwater oh, <laughs> yeah like a hundred percent real like he came home and he had a bag of it like this full like a a zip line drug or like zip yeah like a zip air, air, air type airtight bag yeah and he uh yeah they got it like it was his friend was like scuba diving found a shipwrecked boat and then <laughs> How just like that's weed well well i don't think i they mean do. yeah i, don't, I mean it looks I don't like think weed. They, yeah they brought it home and then matt was like telling us the story he's like yeah my friend found on a shipwrecked <laughs> boat and we're gonna make weed peanut butter and we were like because they had so it much was of like it like dirt they, brown it oh, was it was disgusting but these boys would smoke anything yeah. um but yeah they're like we're gonna make weed peanut butter and apparently it was the most powerful weed like they've ever had in their entire life i don't even know how weed can be that powerful but then um one of our roommates <laughs> took so much i've never seen someone more high like in my entire life and this was just from weed he does a three-act play <laughs> by himself that we have to watch for over 20 minutes and without was, him saying words he's going beep, beep, bop, boo, beep, it was bop, completely like, unintelligible and this is 100 percent true every once in a while he would like get out like a, a word remember because he was talking about oh yeah he would go no no he would go beep, beep, bop, bop, riley reed like the porn star yeah the porn star and he's like riley reed uh uh what's the like merry-go-round right <laughs> yeah and then but just boop and no boop and no boop beep and like but like he was like he was putting on a three-act porno basically but like but fully clothed fully clothed but he wanted us to watch he's like watch play and then he beep 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 boop boop and we were like dude don't eat you any more of this peanut butter because like and it was gross peanut butter like I, did they, you try it no no no, oh, no i was like they but they talked about how gross it was because it was like and you could see it too like it was they they baked, i think they burnt it they baked the weed to like get the thc concentrate but then they like used some of the actual weed in it and so it was like but it was like really dry oh would they do that and they put it they mixed it in and so it was like it was dry sandy peanut weed peanut butter and they would almost gag eating it but they would just eat spoonfuls of it like they wouldn't even put it on things they would just eat spoonfuls and then see that sprinkler right there the people um you can't see it at home but there's a sprinkler in like the little studio area in our apartment and uh one of our roommates was very jovial and he was running as fast as he can and for some reason just jumped in the air we weren't going to say names, <laughs> um, but then he hit his head. See how it's lopsided? Um, he <laughs> Sticking hit, out of the ceiling now. He, he hit his head on that and got so much hair caught in it, but tried to play it off. Even though I know that hurt so bad. And there's still a there's little still bit. Still hair there's caught still in hair it. caught in our ceiling. That's disgusting. And then it was Dude, so funny. He tried to play it off. And like we were sitting in the living room before this was like the set. And, uh, and I was like sitting over here, like where I used to have a desk over here. And I saw, I saw him walk into the kitchen. And like when he was walking... Played it off, totally cool. He gets in the kitchen and he checks his head to see if it's bleeding. He goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because he tried to be so like smooth about it. Not smooth like that peanut butter because that peanut butter was not smooth. Uh, Different kind of crunchy. We threw that um pan out. What pan? That they did that they did it in because you cannot get that thing clean. Was it the glass pan? Yep. Ah, ah that's it why clean. it was yellow. That was We gross. have no more glass pan. RIP the glass pan. Dude, she opened up every cupboard and washed all your dishes and reorganized all your cupboards too. I, that's crazy. But I like still, if I had known it was going to be $5.50. $5.50, I wouldn't have paid the fucking difference. <laughs> I wouldn't have. I would have started cleaning the day before, and then when you guys came home, we all could have di- like, like jumped st- in. Yeah. But like, I don't know if we could have done what they did. Okay, oh, but now no, that they've now that they've established like a nice. I feel like we can keep up with this. Oh, we can definitely yeah. keep up with this. And that I said, seems- how much would it normally be, and to keep it up, if they came once a week, and she went, oh, they probably charge like. 150 bucks deep oh, can, to clean the place. I can tell you we're not doing no, that No, no, weekly. no. You don't need to do that. But we're going to keep up. Like, we came back, and, like, California has super calcified water, so, like, you get hard water stains, and, like, our windows hannah when she came she there was so much hard water on like hard water stains she thought the gl- shower glass was purposefully frosted <laughs> yeah, and but is, but yeah. now Do it's, you have a squeegee did you go buy i bought a squeegee on amazon so we're gonna keep up with did it you buy one for zach and 
Jared, sometimes d- you can just think of me and do things just because I'm your friend, you know? I'm and it hurts so that you sorry. won't even think about me. When yeah, I got to claim my shower screen because uh, Riley keeps hers spotless. She squeegees every time she showers. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Like the last couple of days while I was waiting for my squeegee to come in, I, I took my towel and like dried it off because I'm... It's so clean. It's so clean. Should I get and a then, squeegee? Yes. yes. Uh, and also, um, Thanks, I know <laughs> we're like, uh, <laughs> we're not getting like our whole deposit back probably but um the shower glass if it it was like a thing he said he's like if it has hard water stains and we have to replace those that's coming out of your deposit and i was like shit are you kidding (laughs) no what do you mean you can just clean it off he's like if we have to like hire somebody or replace the glass he's like that's coming out of your deposit you guys are not getting your deposit back well we might we might get a little bit back no you won't Wait, why don't you think we'll get our deposit back? Name three reasons. I don't know whether it's because of the peeling on your ceiling now. Uh, Veronica. Easy fix. Or maybe it's the blue wall Wait, no, we with can all the holes. Right back. With all the holes. We just text, what's his name? Or, Louise? Or maybe, yeah, Louise. Or, we just or, or maybe it's the two black, three black walls in your apartment now. That's just painting. That's just painting. BS. The ruined carpet. Our carpet is not ruined. Look at our carpet. Our carpet is beautiful. Flawless right now. It's (laughs) dirty. It's not dirty. That's just the color. You should actually probably go get it cleaned. Okay. Hire a cleaning service. What? How much was the cleaning service? Oh, you had to pay to get your mom's carpets. That was the craziest thing. Okay. So we go to Vegas (laughs) and my mom, so we sit down at the first dinner and my mom and grandpa are like, you've got to, um, you've got to steam clean her carpets. And I was like, I've never done that before. I'm only here for like a day or two to see my grandmother who I only see every few years. Why do I have to spend my time doing this? She's like, it only take you like two hours. And I was like, can I just like pay my uncle to do it so I can hang out with my grandmother? And she's like, fine. I was like, I was like, first off, I don't know why I have to pay for your car to get cleaned at a place yeah, I don't what? live at. But it is what it is. I was trying to be a nice son. If you lived there, it's different, I think, but you don't. I call my uncle. I'm like, hey, can you do this? I'll slip you some money. I thought he'd only do it for like 50 bucks. He's like, no. Dude, last time I did it, it took me over four hours. Your mom only gave me 100 bucks. I'm never doing that again. It was the worst work I've ever done. Holy I was like, crap. I don't know how to do it. It's going to take me six hours. So then my grandpa's like, okay, I'll find a place. And since he's the landlord, I was like, okay, he'll pay for it. That makes me feel better. Well, remember, though, like after Uncle Ryan like wouldn't do it, he, you, you were kind of like, okay, fine. I guess we'll do it or whatever. So then you call your grandpa and you're like, just bring over the carpet cleaner. He's like, I can't. It's raining. He's like, it's raining outside. I was like, well, we're cleaning the carpets inside. He's like, no, nah, moisture outside won't let it dry. I was like, how does that how make any spo- sense? But how am I supposed to do this? He's like, I'll just call somebody. And he calls somebody. And then um, they get there in the morning, and he's like, be prepared to pay. I'm like, why am I paying over $100 to get my mom's carpet cleaned when you're the landlord? And I don't know how to do it. And it's kind of a ripoff because you called a place to see, like, granted, they weren't available for, like, to do it that day. But they were having a special. It was only 50 bucks, you know? And, like, if you needed your carpets cleaned, like, why did you tell me this a long time ago? I would have set it up. But, and then just expect me to like clean it when you get there. When I get there, when I'm supposed to be spending the time with a grandma I never see. And then she's like getting mad at me. You never do anything for me. I was like, mom, I just want to see my grandma. I didn't know I'd be cleaning your carpets or I would have like done this. And then she's like, well, you got to pay for it. I'm like, I don't know how this worked out, but sure, I'll pay for it. So I paid for it. And then, uh, and then my mom calls me later and is mad. She's like, did you move the chairs in the dining room or else he didn't clean under them? I was like, yes, I moved the chairs in the dining room. She's like, oh, okay, sorry. I was like, thank you for <laughs> for paying for it, Zach, and she's like, "Thanks for paying for it. Goodbye." I'm like, "Could be a little bit more grateful here." But she did give us an Easter egg hunt, though. She did give us an Easter egg is hunt. It? That was very sweet. And Jerry couldn't find a single egg. So I found two before Zach gave up, and then his mom had to play hot and cold with me. <laughs> so uh, all growing up, my mom was really cute with um, holidays. Like on on St. Patrick's Day, she used to take uh, my Woody toy from Toy Story and then she would paint the bottom of his shoes green and then she'd go around the house and like put footprints everywhere. So I think there's a leprechaun that existed and I would freak out. I was like, we got to find this gold mom. <laughs> and, freak out. And then uh, I, w- I loved Easter for some reason and I would make her do Easter eggs hunts all year round. And I've told you guys, uh-huh. people had stuffed animals, Wait, stuffed pause. bears. Did you just have green paint all over your house? Yeah, but it was washable. Oh, I was like, did- okay. <laughs> you were like, um, how did she is- get that out of the carpets? <laughs> And then Hence why the cleaners came. So when people, when kids are young, they have like stuffed animals, stuffed bears. Um, I had a stuffed Humpty Dumpty that was like a an egg that I would take everywhere with you. I think that is the funniest thing. I, I think have, it's hilarious. And my mom wrote on it, "I I love um I love you," and I wear and I take it to my dad's house af- because after their divorce, because I didn't want to be there, and I would just cry and be like, "I want to go back to my mom." He's like, "Hold your egg. It's like she's here." Um, oh, hold your egg. It's like, <laughs> like she's here. here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she did a little Easter egg hunt for Jared and I. And Jared, you have a lot of great skills. 
in life. You do. You can make Thank music. You. Finding eggs ain't one of them. You can smile a lot, but you can't find an egg if they're not right in front of you, can you? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> if, uh, they were just hidden kind of in plain sight, and then my mom was like, Jared, can you really not find these? And he's like... D- I'm almost colorblind to eggs. <laughs> and she'd be like, hotter, colder, higher. And then you'd be like, I got one. And she'd be like, you almost did it yourself. And it made you feel good about it. <laughs> she did. She so. was trying so hard to make me feel good about it. But, but that was like, an interesting time. She was, it was so funny because like there's one. Yeah, she was like hotter, 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 higher. Like, and it was like in a light fixture that's attached <laughs> to the wall. And then like, she was like, okay, there's one over by Zach. And he's sitting. <laughs> and like, I walk over by she's Zach. She's like, that's she, Zach. And she's like, she's like, well, it's. Definitely, probably not in the lamp. <laughs> it's right behind Zach. And then in Jared's mind, he goes, I'm going to check the lamp. And then he <laughs> finds it. He's like, call me Sherlock Holmes. But it was cute. Okay. And then uh, when we get back, we hang out with Indy. We go to our friend's house to go swimming. Oh, God. Um, Indy. I have a concussion. It's just me and Indy <laughs> outside. Everyone else is inside. And for some reason, she's like, she w- she was in the hot tub and then would randomly do like dives. I feel like you thought you were in a movie. Where you just like dive into the pool? No, I just wanted to cool off because the hot tub got hot. And then, and then for some reason, so I just dive in the pool and just swim in there for a bit. It's just me outside because I'm watching her, so she won't drown. She's like, "See how count how long I can do a handstand?" And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, sure." And she does a handstand, worst form you've ever seen in your entire life. And she comes back up. What was that? Like thirty seconds, minute? <laughs> and I was like, "That was definitely four seconds. That was f- exactly four Mississippi." She said, "No way." <laughs> Goes straight under again and then um, does it for almost shorter and then comes back and almost gets mad at me because <laughs> I'm saying the time's wrong. Even I said, no, that was at least 20 seconds. And then she starts doing back, back flips and she's like, is it as graceful as it seems in my mind, this back flip? <laughs> and I was like, uh, not at all. She's like, film this back flip. And uh, notice how everyone else is inside having a good time. And he's I like, wanted to stay in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she is. Oh my gosh. I hit my head. Oh my god. Are you okay? I hit my head really bad. Dude, so, uh-huh. so I smacked the shit out of my head. It's it it was slow motion. It like I was underwater. I flipped and then I went boom. She comes out of the water. She's like, I don't feel good. Like my head is so like freaking And then I'm holding her hair like as she's so as she's powerful. trying to throw up a little bit because I I think that head hitting dude i got nauseous immediately i literally was like I'm gonna throw up. i so i'm inside and aiden comes in and he like goes immediately to the freezer and like i just like i have no idea what's happening like i didn't see this and uh i just make a joke with him and like he grabs like a bag of berries or something and i said did you just get a craving for <laughs> like frozen raspberries or something? And he's like, no, Indy hit her head. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and so I immediately follow him outside and <laughs> I look over and Indy is like, you could tell she hit it hard. Cause she's like, she's bent over and like retching, you know, <laughs> like immediately nauseous and like Zach's holding her hair. And I was like, what the fuck happened? And Zach's like, she's trying to do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to do a backflip. And and I I she, got into a, she got into a boxing match at the ground and the ground won. <laughs> yeah, big time. And then, okay, the neighbors started complaining about the noise, right? And so everybody immediately started to run inside. They have tiles in their kitchen. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get there, I just want to say one thing about being outside. She had the bag of berries on her head. It was, it was just the bag. <laughs> the label was berries and there was actually ice in it. And... Like, it just was open and ice fell on her. And she's like, there's berries all over me. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's not. It's ice. She's just like, berries. And then and then she figures out it's ice. She's like, it's ice. <laughs> and I said, it is ice. She goes, should I eat it? I said, doesn't matter. And she puts it in her mouth. She goes, cold. I said, yes. I, I was like, I feel like she's like a toddler just figuring out things for the first time. And I said, yes, cold. Well, I think the uh, I think the hit kind of reset her for a little bit. <laughs> for yeah. a second there, she, yo. She I shot was, back to like the first I grade. I was dizzy. Like, I just remember like being like, oh my God. Like my whole like body just felt like spinning. Anyway, everybody had run inside pre like before pre backflip. And so the pre backflip. Pre backflip. It was like A D or B C A D. What was life pre backflip? <laughs> Whatever. They'd all run inside, so the floors were extremely wet in sink. Like extremely, extremely wet. So we went upstairs and I went to find Riley and whatever. And I went into Berkeley's room and I turned around for a second and absolutely ate shit. Like ate shit. Fell on my back, slipped and smacked my freaking- Like it was almost like you'd see in a movie, like just slipped on, almost Ooh. like it looked like a banana peel and just like absolutely 
RKO's Bam. her back. Just <laughs> RKO's oh. herself. This is too and she's just laying there like like a turtle that can't get up, just oh. on the back of his shell. I was like, come on, buddy. And but you didn't remember right before that, you're like, Zach, yeah. help me. And then I took you to the laundry room so you could get your like your clothes out of the bathing suit. And she just runs into the door with her shoulder. Like she's Holy playing shit, fullback. Dude. She just shoulder checked the the door like they're opposing frats. Like I was like, what is going on here? Dude, and I went, oh, and then I was like, it's time for me to go. But then I didn't leave. They started playing country music. And then I'm like, I'm sad Indy hit her head, but at the same time she wants to go home, so we get to go home a little early. <laughs> and then I'm got, I'm, I packed all Indy stuff. She's like, I want to go to the car. I said, we're going to the car. We're on our way. And then somebody plays country music, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> and then she just bolts to the kitchen and starts dancing to some country music. And then everybody starts dancing. I'm like, oh, we're going to be here another two hours. Right, and I was and like, then I get put on Ox, and it's game over over i start playing that luke combs oh and then i make a friend i think her name was lauren her name was lauren did you text her today why did you want me to hang out with her so bad because she seemed like a genuinely nice person and you need that <laughs> she didn't seem like an la person that's like how many followers you got cool i'm a capri yeah. son she did seem <laughs> 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 she didn't seem really nice. She was just like, oh, play Tennessee whiskey. What's like, your star moon? I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> that might be one of the funniest <laughs> jokes that Zach has ever said. What did I say? It, but it just came out so fluidly. <laughs> like, cool, I'm a Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I can't deal with one more girl coming up to me like, what's your zodiac sign? It was about two in the morning when we got back home, and I was like, I need to be tan. Yeah, it was annoying because she couldn't get it. So I'm like trying to get her back in she's like don't make it streaky i'm like i've never done this before <laughs> she's like if there's a streak it can be peeled and i said again never done this before i was like you just gotta blend it in she's circular motions blend it in circular motions mr miyagi I said, <laughs> I, I said i know you've never seen that movie if i come out like a tan tiger i'm gonna fucking maul you <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh. <laughs> is it funny if someone has to tell you it's funny <laughs> yeah it's a little degrading because she's like you've never been funny before but this time you were so i said it out loud <laughs> And you put up a funny stop playing with the gum <laughs> on our table. This was just cleaned by Veronica. Dang, they're sweating. <laughs> yeah, they were sweating. I feel so bad. I walk in here. They look like they're just working for no pay, but turns out they're working for all the pay. So I don't feel <laughs> as bad. Oh, the fucking I know. I thought they did all that work for $150. <laughs> no, but, but Indy, you put a funny TikTok up today oh, yeah, um <laughs> where you reacted to uh siblings are dating ew uh i thought it would be fun to try that on the podcast <laughs> siblings are dating this is gonna Let's be fun do it. you found the instagram i found the instagram number okay, one are they siblings? siblings oh they've got to be siblings that's such a, or it could be like really awkward high school dating but they look like one looks way too old to be dating another one yeah, yeah it looks like he looks like the guy looks like 15 years older siblings Siblings. Siblings. Somebody said both in the comments. <laughs> both. Siblings. Dating. Dating. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's yee. All right, buddy. <laughs> That's a case. We're going to have to look at some birth certificates. Let's move on. <laughs> Why do they look so similar? Here we go. Siblings are dating. dating That's a sure. cute couple. That's a, That's a good couple. looking couple. They got to no. be dating. But like, I could also see how they could be siblings. Because they're not like lovey dovey. You know what? I'm going to. But they look secure in their relationship. Like, I feel like Taylor and Megan would take pics like that. Okay, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I, I thought couple initially. I'm going to stick with couple. I think they also have completely different features. Like I'm They have different eyes, siblings. different noses, different mouth. Like, okay. Very pretty, though. I'm going to say dating. Siblings. Zach? Oh, dating. Dating? Yes! Siblings. siblings! I could just, I got the vibe from them. Oh, really? I guess they got good genes. That's they why, we, that's they, why good they were good yeah, looking. they both are very good looking. Good job on your parents for, you know, doing the thing. Doing the dang thing. All right, these two. Okay. Dating. Well, wait. The hand on the... The hand the, on the thigh is yeah. a little suspicious, but I could see their parents being like, okay, no, pose this way. That way you guys look like you like each other. No, I. that's very like, we like we're, we just moved into our first home. Like, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say they siblings. They got matching glasses. Like, Yeah, you're right. It's, it's weird as siblings to take pictures this old. Yeah, I'm going to say dating. But I'm going to say siblings just to be the opposite. I guess I'll, I'll go with dating. 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 Yeah. That makes sense. That does make sense. Does make yeah, sense. the hand the hand on the knee yeah. really gives it away. Well, th they've they got to be siblings. No, no, they no. They are the same, same person. person. I was going to say that, but also like they, well, that's a weird. Why do they look like they're staring into our said, I gonna... thought they, they got the same plastic surgery together. So it's like they could either be siblings or dating. I'm going to say think? dating. Well, you can't read the comments because the first comment kind of gave yeah. away. It said, the first comment says, I'm going to need the 23, 23 and me results, results for this one. one. So that means dating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. They might live in a very southern state. Um, siblings for sure. Oh, that has to be siblings. 
it. That is the most mom took a photo of us. So I'm going dating. I think these people are in love. I can tell no, by the braces. I can tell by the siblings. braces. No, oh, that's siblings. That's a boy and a girl, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Siblings. Siblings. Yeah. Knew it. Knew it. That's I such tell, a. Because uh, my brother and I would take photos like that. My mom would like make it. Pose in front of the beach. No, mom. Siblings. Uh, I'm going to go siblings. I'm going to go dating. I'm going to go siblings. We go. Actually, ah, the nose is throwing me off. They have different noses. They have different noses. They have different S- teeth. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna dating. Go siblings, I'm going to go dating. Uh, no, that looks the like eyebrows sibling. are too different. Siblings. Oh, dating. interesting. The eye- dating. dating. Oh. Knew it. Well, that's weird. I'm an eyebrow connoisseur. They look, <laughs> they look awkward together. That's got to that, be siblings. Really? I thought they were dating. That's an awkward pose that's, to be. Oh, well, yeah. That that's is a really kind of, awkward. Oh, she's got an engagement fearing on. Dating. No, that's the wrong hand. Wrong hand. Uh, they do look eerily similar. That's what do. I'm saying. But, but sometimes like, you match up. That's such an odd photo to like sit. Ugh, I, I, can't, I, say I they, hope they're dating. They kiss on the weekends either way. Yeah. Siblings. Oh, I told God, you. They look the so same. That's so weird. It's a, okay, okay. Maybe they're just really close to each other. No, um, that's weird. All right. No. Moving on. Moving on. Dating. That's got to be dating. 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 You don't gotta, take pictures of your siblings on the, like on the that. Chest, also, hot rod. Back. Take out your AirPods for the picture, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're listening to some sweet tunes right now. but Dating. They have to be dating. Siblings. Who takes sibling pictures like that? hell will Willingly take sibling photos like that. What a pick. <laughs> it was the AirPods. AirPods the girlfriend, girlfriend would, would never, never allow. allow. <laughs> that is okay. See, I kind of knew that. All right. Siblings. Siblings. You think? 100%. Oh, that's a mustache sibling. That's a, that's a, like. Oh, think, they've been to some family days a, together. They've definitely, like, they, they've got a good relationship, but it's just, yeah. like. They waited for Santa together, I can tell. Oh, I was going to say yeah. dating. No. No. Oh. oh. Dating. Okay. Well, they look oh. weird. Adding. 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 They look weirdly alike. That, dating. No, they, siblings. Do you see how he's got his hand not but like on her lower her. Dude, back? That's a no, no. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. Maybe they just posed for a picture. He quickly put it behind and it was snapped at the wrong time. I will say siblings as well, but it's a tough look, buddy. Dating. <laughs> I say dating. I say I say siblings. 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 Ew. Why Ray, is his hand on her He lower didn't back? mean to. He no, just, I think he literally, they probably were just like pose you know and then she like hugged him and then he like put her arm around but like was conscious enough like i don't think he knew exactly where he was placing it but was I'm conscious jealous of those enough girls that can get so tan in the sun dude i can't hold a tan to save my Neither life I, I turn into a lobster and Me then too. four days later I i'm just peel everything yeah. yeah all right dating huh interesting i would go dating. i would go dating but there's well, something about their smiles that seems similar somebody said put the comments back on the post we got some stuff to say <laughs> <laughs> okay that uh, well then siblings I, their smiles are too similar i'm thrown I'm off saying, by i'm thrown off by the vibes uh, like the, the wine glasses the the lamp the the hollet i say it's like christmas but also siblings, the drinks so effing weird if they're siblings they're sexy siblings sexy dating, dating. Yeah, okay okay sense. very cool. similar smiles though i'll give it to you guys you found How are people your finding match? people that like they look so much alike to date? That's weird. <laughs> they must be very narcissistic and be like, "Yeah, I'm hot." Because <laughs> I feel think like Jared that, and his his girlfriend kind of look similar. You guys what? have like the same smiles. I think that I they think we just have not. bright, happy smiles. Yeah, I don't think that they look anything. Have alike. you looked up? I hope to not. Each other? Should we? <laughs> should we do? Uh, <laughs> let me pull up my my Instagram real quick. All right, siblings. All right, siblings are, are dating. Okay. Oh, you guys look alike. No, we don't. Yes, you do. I told you guys. <laughs> yes, you do. Your siblings are dating. I would I would honestly be like, I'd call siblings because you guys look so much alike. What? Wow, they do look they look more alike than I thought, and I'm the one that brought it up. Uh, wow. Hey, hey guys, you guys have the same eyes. Okay, all I'm saying is I was right. Ah shit. Yeah, you guys do look very similar. That's odd. That's old. <laughs> Interesting. Let's move on. Uh oh. <laughs> My God, I cannot believe I did not record <laughs> yeah, any of that. Dude, I want to fight you so bad. Um, Listen, guys, you know we do this live. Jared, I literally am going to strangle you with both my hands. We here. had such a good day. I was why it looked green, too. Jared, I was so surprised. Jared wasn't recording the podcast. It's okay. Um, Wait, so should I do the bit again? There's no bit. <clears throat> literally, no. Indy, why you stop. Why am I on my phone, you ask? Come Indy, on. Indy, Indy, stop. Jared, stop. <laughs> guys, we're doing a live after party after this where we answer your guys' question live. You can be part on of the, the pod- stereo app. On the stereo app. Um, you guys love Stereo. it. Stereo.com slash Indiana Masara. Stereo.com slash Jerry Bear Music. 
It's stereo.com slash no, Zach it, Justice. It's a link in the description. It's Link's in the description, whatever. It's a live conversation app where we get to talk to you guys, be co-hosts, ask us a bunch of questions. I'm not talking about the damn beach story. And and um, if you follow me, I've been paying for people's lunch and all week. And Jared and I going to do that too. Yeah. I, just DM me a picture that you followed Zach Justice on. Same. Stereo, and I've been paying for people's lunch just to say thank you. Anyway, catch us on there every what? Like after this podcast on Sundays. And Sundays, then Tuesdays, Tuesdays, and, and then Fridays. 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 All right, perfect, guys. Thank Back you. Back to the podcast. All right, we'll just do like three more of these. Yeah. Oh, they have to be siblings. Yeah. Listen. The exact same eye. Well, same her, her eyes. No eyes. offense. Same you got song. crazy eyes. No, Jared. Sorry. She does. She's staring. Through. Why? She just, <laughs> she's staring. Dude, she's looking right Dude, at me. Siblings. She's singing everything I've done wrong in my life and is like judging me. But she's happy about it. The longer I look at her, the oh, the wider she, her eyes get. She loves my pain. I do have to go siblings, though. Siblings. Definitely. Dating. Dating. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh, I don't think I'd want those. I, I want to do this game where it's like both. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Dating. Um, siblings. Their siblings. hair is they got, so similar. They and got their the eyes, same eyes and the same, same exact nose. eyes. But the pose is so weird. Is it, though? Yes. No, it just seems like they got like in for a selfie. But ew. It's not that weird. I gotta show you guys the way that I actually take photos with my brother, because maybe I'm just. We'll pop up those ones we just saw. No. <laughs> yeah. That I wasn't. I was forced. Dating. To dating. Interesting. They look so similar. They have beautiful eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. The kids wow. would have beautiful eyes. All right, last dating. one. Ah. Look at the hand and the lean in. But, but no, he's pulling away. He's like. He's Ew. pulling he away, pulling and his away. hand. His hand is super high up. You know. Uh, and it's see. like it's also it's high up and it's also not like. Grasping, but he's also like, hmm. and he's leaning away. I would say siblings. Siblings. <laughs> the comment. This one was easy because the brother's body language gave it away. Yeah, siblings. Siblings. All right. He just said, "Get off of me." He was like, <laughs> "Jared, did you ever get scared you'd accidentally date your sibling because of all the test tube babies?" Oh, um, that's a good question. But that's an actual. That's, I. It like it. Not that it never crossed my mind, but I also I was like, "What are the odds?" Wait, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Say, oh God. say oh you're no. like you're ten, ten years down the road, like you're married, you've been with this girl forever. Not saying Hannah, but whatever girl, and then you find out you guys are actually siblings. Do you break it off? Like it's the happiest marriage ever. Like you guys have kids. Would you break it off if you learned you're a sibling? But you, is your half sibling? But you guys have kids together. You're married. Like, or do you just keep it under wraps? Okay, okay. Let me make it a little bit easier. You okay. guys have been dating two years. Happy. Loving Wait, relationship. Wait, we'll do both scenarios. Either way, I still had sex with my sibling, and that's weird. Yes, but half not your sibling, so that's the silver lining. I don't think there is a silver lining in that because. Uh, but it's not like you. Yeah, it's weird. You guys do share DNA. I mean, you and guys it's like it's have a kid. It's like it's not like it would. It's that's like incest. a long line, like a long removed relative. You know, because I think they. It's like third cousin they say is like where the genetic weirdness you know doesn't happen but i'm gonna start calling. i got a cousin i gotta call go ahead <laughs> but oh no i'd have to heck? i have I a would, cousin i need to call i would Mr. end Georgia? it georgia but <laughs> oh shit but then if i end it people are like and it's like a happy like relationship people are like why then you got to keep up a lie because you can't <laughs> be like oh they're, they're my half sibling <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I just let it ride. You think? Probably. But then what if people find out, though? Oh, yes. man, that'd be a tough Thanksgiving. That's like... No, how would anyone find out? That'd be a secret you both die with. But that means your kid is also your niece? <laughs> That's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> you kid your kid and your niece. It's okay, weird. what are you picking? You've been with them for 10 years. You have a kid. Are you breaking up with them? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Three, two, one. I think I'd have to end it. I think... Oh, oh wow, dude. What about that kid? Like, it but, was, like I don't think but, I could end it. Oh, uh, okay. Here, what if we? If I'm happy, it doesn't change. I found out new information, but it doesn't change our relationship. That's okay. But what, what, if, we, what if we change? But it doesn't mean you whore. Oh no. <laughs> what if we? What? Okay. What? I could stay, but change. Cersei. Yeah. Change the relationship. She slept so with her brother. I understand. Jeff, so that not Cersei. We don't have sex anymore. Wait, are you more offended that I said you were Cersei because of her character, or more but offended I that I said you sleep with your brother? Kid. I would never sleep with my brother. I would. Good call. I would. Over to you, Jared. <laughs> I think I would have to stay for the kid, but then <laughs> change the relationship so that we're no longer having sex. Because I don't think I could. You want to be in a sexless marriage? God. Well, yeah, I don't think I could Cut. sleep with someone that I know is my half sibling. Please. I mean, sorry. Uh, next topic. <laughs> 
Addison Ray released a song? Should we talk about that? Let's I mean, listen to it. Let's live yeah. react. So uh, apparently Addison Ray put out a new song. Didn't know she did music. So we're going to listen I, to it. I mean, I've known her, like, because I've known her for a while now. So I knew that she sung. Oh, yeah. You guys used to be boys back in the day. Yeah, we did. Um, <laughs> boys. So let's listen and to it. I knew it. she was like pretty decent at singing. That is a scandalous opening frame. It is, isn't it? She got a nice booty. All right. Go we're going to. We're going to listen to it. We can't keep it in the podcast because we'll get demonetized. So go listen to the song and then come back and then, yeah. and then you'll hear our reaction. A few minutes later. Okay. One, I think she looks phenomenal in the video. Like, she I does think look phenomenal. She looks good in the video. I there think she so, literally <laughs> looks phenomenal. There are some parts where I was like, that is a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, there are definitely some parts. But I think she looks phenomenal. Like, I think um, Patrick, uh, I think his name is Patrick. What's Holy name? shit. Could you imagine... 51 it premiered 51 minutes ago Patrick and Tom. already has 300,000 views. Had a girl? That's insane. Yeah, no. Hair, makeup, styling, video itself I think was so dope. I think her voice honestly does sound really really good. I didn't know she could sing. I didn't it know she could sing really either. Good. Like she I actually it, sounds really really good. And the song was really well produced. I did like the song. I don't know if I liked the song too much. I think she sounds amazing. She looks amazing. You, she like I think she literally sounds great like i think she looks phenomenal i think the video was really cool and really edgy and really artsy yeah the director diane martell great Martel. like i, I love it. i honestly love it all and i love some parts of the song but like yeah i like i, Ad just, I like addison i think she's like a positive person in the in the space um but for like me she's a person that i genuinely think is like deserves a platform like mm -hmm. there's so many social media but people that i don't think deserve it i don't and I think she does i don't know if i can speak on the song too much because it's not my style it just feels very cookie cutter like so like it felt like a company wrote it and was like this will do well and it's like i don't know it didn't feel like i think she's finding herself she'll find herself no she will artist. find yeah. herself so this is a great first start but it didn't i feel think it's like, a great first start. it is yeah. a good first it didn't start. feel like addison's song like it didn't feel like this is like yeah. from my heart that i spent like months Right. Yeah, and I like, think, but like with all with with all honesty, when I first started, I people I would just sing songs that people gave me. Like I didn't really put much thought into them. It was just like, oh, I like the song, I'll sing it. But definitely for like your first, like it's not like Ugh, no, I don't want to. Oh bad. yeah, for your like, first song. It's really song not bad. Video, I think like like that's out let of this me world. like let me again say I think she sounds amazing and like Addison looks fucking hot. Like she looks phenomenal in this video. Like a one like for a first, off, for a first like debut single i think the song's decent i think she sounds oh it's not great. it's not a cringy song at all that's no, not what i'm not saying at all. I'm that's not saying what i'm like, saying yeah. either I, I don't think it's cringy i just don't think it's like my kind of what i would necessarily listen to but i think it's like great i just didn't think it didn't seem like addison's heart was in it yeah like, it's not like there was like 600 people behind the song and it like just got lost and it's like okay this is what people listen to right so you should do that yeah. Like driver's license was like you can tell it's like from the heart. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. I think once she finds herself, she gets more and more into the music space. She'll and I think it's you know what? So many TikTokers, even me, even though I've been doing music since I was freaking thirteen years old, whatever, get so much hate for trying to transition into the more traditional aspect of things like music and acting. Good well, for her. Yeah, like, but you have no like way. you literally have to transition. Like what do you, you can't just yeah, do Yeah, you can't just do TikTok, TikTok forever. TikTok's gonna die. So you know who helped write that song? Yeah. Benny freaking Blanco. Really? The Benny Blonkster. I mean That's that crazy. makes sense. She's got some of the best and connections he, in the world. And now. he produced it. That's why I like the song. That's why I like the oh, you production. Like it. Well, I like the production behind it. I wouldn't that it's not a song for me, right? No, like it's just she, the, she the words make were that like, thinking a twenty two year old guy is gonna be like the the, the words were so, they're, they're pop generic down on sunset blah 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 obsessed it's like a, yeah we've heard that song 300 million times i wrote a song called obsessed so yeah what i like about the video i like seeing I think the video her uh i like seeing her dance like actually yeah, dance I think rather she's, than she's, just doing well, like she's the always same been a great dance. she's always dances. been a, she's always been like a, yeah like seeing her actually dance but yeah. she's always been an actual dancer because did she went to lsu like wasn't she she was doing something at lsu right i don't remember oh i think she's like a cheerleader or maybe on the dance team or something i'll look yeah, that up. i don't know been a great too much about the ray but uh i appreciate you trying music and i think you're gonna find your lane i think not she'll find it, like her space in it and she'll yeah, not do saying really it's bad well. at all it's just like wasn't for me i really like the uh the look of i like the pink hair look yeah, i thought that was like Dude, artistically that was really cool cut this out but she oh she just went to lsu but she didn't. She was on the dance team. But she's. It's a this. The Wikipedia page says she's been dancing competitively since the age of six. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. She did a great job. Good for her. Good job, Addison. Uh, next week we're actually having Addison Ray on. She's gonna <laughs> perform that. She's gonna pour in that song live. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, um, really excited. All wait. All Jared has to do is just email it, right, Jared? 
Should probably get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me just uh, do that right now. Thank you, Jared. Remember when Zach's diner, like we had that and we were like, we had all, this whole. Yeah, we thought Sean, but like. We no, had we this came whole, very close to having Machine Gun Kelly. We came very what? close to having Did him. Really? And. Uh, I played basketball with his manager. And yeah. um, Arizona. Well, we probably can. Arizona Zervas Service. I don't know how to say his Wait, last name. Why don't you get them on this? Well, so he was, he's friends with Dwarf Pamba oh, and yeah. we did an episode with him. And, um, or Evan, you know, uh, and so he was like, he's like, oh yeah, I could probably hit him up and like have him as like a musical guest. So like, we were going to like, what set was up Arizona's the famous song? Roxanne. But you know the song Roxanne? Roxanne. I told you about that. that like, I was at the party where he wrote that song about it. Really? Yeah. I was at the party with him. Like I was just hanging out with him before he like, I didn't even know he did music. I was just hanging out with him. And then months later he came out with a song about a girl. I guess he met that night. At that party, which I thought was cool. Oh, that's wow. pretty cool. Oh, that is really cool. Can we please try to get Machine Gun Kelly on I here? I think I would ask. I would die. I'm sorry, but any girl that says they do not simp over that man is lying. Okay, he's with Megan out. Fox. That's a pretty big pull. That's, that's a big pull. I'm sorry. Hottest couple ever. That's a good looking couple. So let me flex real quick. My stylist styles Megan Fox. <laughs> Wait, you know. is that she stylist really going to style Jared and I? I'm going to, I mean, this is really expensive. Are you paying for that? Well, no, that's what it. she said last week. I was wondering if I, I want to, but it's expensive. Well, is there a cheap person? I mean, just have three grand to pull out of my ass. Okay, so before we get into fan questions and before we get into Dropout's Drip, um, we had an overwhelming amount of Dropout's dogs. What about Dropout's moms? That's all I was here for. We only got one of those. We got one dropout mom. We got, I, I'm down to look at it. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but to kick off dropouts, dogs, on our way back from Vegas, uh, like literally we hit the road for about 30 seconds and we're driving. And, and there's Zach a guy twirling a sign. This, fuck. Okay, so this guy was twirling, twirling a sign as we're leaving to go back to L.A. And normally I've never stopped for a guy twirling a sign. I'm like, never. that doesn't entice me. I know there's a subway that way. But this guy said free puppies on the sign. And Jared and I look at each other and we're like, 100% we're going to go look at these puppies. Wait. Oh, 100%. The signs hit free puppies. Yeah, he's twirling. Oh, yeah, no, it I wasn't, there too. It wasn't, it wasn't it, free it, puppies. It just, it just said puppies. puppies. <laughs> and it, they were twirling. And Jaren's like, well, first of all, he's like twirling the sign. We're like, all right, which way is it? Which way is it? <laughs> and then we found the place. And then we looked at puppies and held them. Easily could have just been like a van and we got kidnapped. That you know, like that. The, was, but we we went in and we found this English bulldog. And everybody knows I wanted an English bulldog. And his name was Chester. And like I held him and he was so happy and content. And then I put oh, him down and he Zach, was just barking. I got the video. Real. Yeah. Let's watch it. Oh, oh my God. Chester. Look at him. He's so sweet. Look at the Aww. face. Oh, Chester. Hey, he boy. thought I was his dad. Oh, and he got so sad when we put him down because, uh, well, not put him down, but when <laughs> yeah. we, uh, when we so put him. So basically, we euthanized him before he left. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, when we put him back in his cage, he started, like, yelping. He's like, no, come back. But, and then there is. Do you ever think that, that, that you guys are. They're true owners versus like the people that he really got sent home with. Oh, definitely. There's a boxer. <laughs> he said, oh, definitely. There's a boxer. His name is Axel. Here he is. Oh, my goodness. I I loved this dog with all my heart. Oh, Look my him. God. He's so oh, cute. His little brown mark. I wanted him so bad. But the first dog we walked into was that dog you like? The, the King Cavalier King Charles. <laughs> Please tell I me mean, you took a video. I didn't take a video, Zach. Do you have a video? I showed you it. On FaceTime. Yes. yes, I did. That was the first one yeah, I showed you. No, he called me. I was wondering why you weren't freaking out. Because it like, looks like a corgi. <laughs> no, I was like, like, I don't give a fuck. It was blurry, but I could see it was a <laughs> I was like, this is your favorite dog ever, but okay, I'll move on. That dog was sweet, though. The Cavalier King oh, Charles yeah. Spaniel? Oh, would, it was yeah, so Cavalier, chill. Cavalier I still would King never Char want one. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are just the chillest dogs ever. They do nothing but just chill. But, dude, the bulldog, it just had personality, and it, it was like, did. was a, I'm Chester. I'm Chester. Would you keep it named Chester? If no, I bought you a, a puppy, what would you do? Name it William. But, like, but would you keep it? I have to. William was <laughs> $6,000. Or Chester was $6,000. How much was the boxer? Sure. Probably around the same. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want a boxer, though. No offense, Jared. Well, I, grew I know up, you grew up with them. I grew up with one, so they have a special just place like, in they, my heart. They like to punch you in the face. Like, literally, <laughs> boxers, they, like, use their arms. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. but what if, you like, I was just, like, that guy, a puppy. I would take care of it and love it. Would you be excited? Well, yeah. Oh, I That's thought what, you would I, never want that. I don't know what you are talking about. I, know, I've I just thought, thought that you that you didn't want a puppy in this environment. Well, no, but if I just had one, I'd make it work. That's like if I accidentally got a girl pregnant, you know? We take care of it. <laughs> I've always thought a puppy is like a weird gift 
to give because Unless it's you like really here's responsibility till yeah, it dies. Here's the twelve year responsibility on average. But you I know, think it's, it's like, more it, the only reason that I think it's okay to give people if you've discussed it prior. Meaning, like I know Zach would die for an English bulldog, and I know he's responsible enough to take care of it, and I know he really wants a one. very specific color pattern. I know. <laughs> would, would you to help take care of it? Be honest. Then no. I'd come over and play with it. Yeah, then yep. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take it for walks though. Well then. I wouldn't want one. But here we go. Some dropout oh, dogs. Oh, hey, little girl. Oh, my oh. God. That's a beautiful dog. That's a beautiful dog. dog. That's a beautiful dog. Yeah. That is a... The sun shining, the wind in its fur. Can I be honest with you? This is what my mom looked like in her late 30s, early 40s. This, <laughs> is, no, this dog. <laughs> this is a be- Nobody thinks think that dog looks like my mom. I mean... A little, yeah. Can you pull up, pull up a picture of my mom, please? No. Okay, here's the next one. So that's the... Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. I want the one on the left. Oh my goodness! Look at the puppy Aww. with the donut. I want the one on the right. But yeah, she sent this in, and she was like, "Yeah, these are my dogs." I was like, "You have a wolf." I hope you know that. Yeah, if you don't know, name them Sun and Moon, you're doing it wrong. Like that's beautiful, dude. Wow. Look, first of all, I've never seen dogs' eyes that brown before. I've never like, seen dogs' eyes that blue. And like, they look. That's like straight ice. <laughs> look at him. Those are some quality dogs, Jared. Those are some what quality. Are the next one. This one's cute. Because it's a, it's like a little video. <laughs> oh my god! Look at wait 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 for it. This is so cute. Here we go. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Oh, oh sleepy. He had a sweepy. <laughs> he's sweet. And then so. Ew, I hate those kind of dogs. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is someone's pride <laughs> and joy. <laughs> F your dog. So so dog. So. Um, it's just always dirty. The white dogs are always dirty. Her name. Is I think Joya. It's J O I A. Joya. I don't know. But the person uh, currently lives in Portugal. They were born in New York, moved to California, then Germany. Or then is it Oya? Oh, it might be Oya. Oya. But they're also uh, 60% indie, 20% Zach. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> and She's like, Sorry. Not ugly. <laughs> I'm sure you're great. It's just I don't like white dogs. Um, okay, reverse racism. Twenty <laughs> percent <laughs> Zach. They play tennis too. They said they've been playing for seven years, and twenty percent me. So now let's get into some dropouts. Drip. That was my favorite segment. Yeah, right. It is. So the first dropouts drip. The Thing first fit. The baggy shirt. The baggy pants. The Jordans. Jordans. Why do I say it like that? <laughs> the Jor- is that drippy <laughs> droppy indie? <laughs> First fit, I give a solid 10 out of 10 because I wear that on a regular. Second okay. fit. Second fit is a little 2014 for me. The belt is, yeah, I don't I didn't like those belts. But that's just me. But the rest of it, all black outfit. She saved up badass. all her money for that belt for any to be like, yeah, don't wear that. <laughs> no, um, you can wear that belt. I think that that belt can look really, really. She's like, you can wear it, just not around me. Wear the belt. I just think I would wear it in a different way. Like normally, I think it would be really cool if you put like an oversized hoodie dress and then wrapped it around your waist to like cinch your waist with some like Jordans or something. I think that would look better in my opinion. And then third outfit's a little confusing to me because it's like I'm kind of country girl, but then here's a Gucci belt. I would take off the The Gucci belt. No, no, no. I would leave that. That's fine. But I would take off the um, flannel. I would take off the flannel and maybe put like a leather jacket on. Well, yeah. she take. Oh, okay, yeah. If you replace it with the leather jacket, because I was gonna say if she takes off the it's flannel, the it's outfit. the same outfit. Yeah, as definitely the take one. off the flannel and put on a leather jacket. Maybe throw your hair up. Oh, interesting. Some hoops. Big fan of the hoops and rings. I love rings. Clearly, I'm always telling people to put rings on. How many fingers do you have left? You have one finger left. The blue, the snow. Hold on, hold. That's a great photo. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to. to Whoa. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to pull up all the pictures the real green? quick. The green? Hold right. on. The, ma'am's Dude, just going the through the se- season. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Well, like that was my girl. high school, BCHS. I mean, that's not the high school, but that, that was our, like, four letters. Okay, one, the blue, the snow. Oh, my God, you look beautiful. The I hair. I think she said that was her senior picture. Yeah, you look the beautiful. The snow picture is the insane. Snow, in, like, literally insane. The sass in the second fit absolutely iconic no, i really pose. i actually really like the outfit too. yeah i yeah, really like that the the red and the, orange um piece. the yeah i think it's really cool is her, that part of the dress her pink or is hair that like looks a, great yeah, you know how some dress. pink hair looks a little yeah, dingy no, her pink hair looks great i, I love the sweater it's with nice the collar it's moment saturated and super bright yeah. i love the sweater with the collar moment big fan of that and then the last one with the green with all the greenery around you very spring i think you freaking killed it i love all four the, of these the first picture is next level though first with picture like the though, snow behind you absolutely next level i know you were freezing your titty tatas off but you look <laughs> great her what 
for titty tatas. Gotcha. Let's move on. Interesting. Oh my god! I, I have a new new ten out of ten uh, for entry all of in my these. vocab. Titty tata. <laughs> titty <tata-tas. laughs> you've never heard. That. Hey, send me a titty tata pic. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, Jared. I'm busy. I'm clapping to all of these because you absolutely killed absolutely all of these. Yeah, you yeah. murdered him in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take notes from the uh, the collared shirt one. Yeah, I like that's that one. exactly what Indy like wants me. I to I think I'm gonna wear the first one. But she can really pull off all of them. Yeah. And the hair. Well, wow, you can really pull off any hair. Yes, I like. I like a lot. Okay, so this is the last one. Um, and she. this is a perfect transition into like the actual fan questions because she also asked a question with it. But um, mm-hmm. all right, so these are like her her outfits. I you like know. it. You like it? Yeah. I mean, a little basic. How would you fix it so it's not as How basic? How would I fix it? I'm a big fan of just putting your hair up i think that it changes a look like that sometimes when you're wearing old dark fits and stuff that's a little higher neck it's good to keep your hair up to show more of your face um so yeah i'd literally just put your hair up and put some earrings on and i think you look great i'm just a very big jewelry person and like i think it just changes looks like that like jewelry and hair changes everything for me like in the second pick if she had some like rings on if she had like- some rings on she put her hair up with some hoops or even just like some anything just yeah but the rest of it I like. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the... All right. And then her actual question, her question was, what is the proudest moment of your career and how old do you think... Oh, how old do you think she is? Uh, Definitely 18. I can't really see her well enough. Wait. Yeah, she zoomed I was, in I was, 15. I was, yeah, I was going to go 16. I'm going to say 16. All right. If I was in Alabama, I'd say 16. But um, if we're in California, I'm going to say 18. <laughs> Zach. What? What was the first question? <laughs> uh, what, what was the proudest moment of your career? <laughs> Sick. When my song went number one and I got my plaque. That's a good. That it also hit the charts, like the actual Billboard charts, right? Yeah. That, that was your favorite so. of your career? I thought it would be uh, performing, the Kiss yeah. FM. Oh, that was pretty cool, too. I don't know. <laughs> I've had some great career moments. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Zach, what about you? Ooh. Oh. When JLo posted me on her story, that was pretty sick. She did. When did that happen? Yeah. A couple months ago. Keep up, Jared. Yeah, a couple months ago. J-Lo posted me on her story. What I think J-Lo is a queen. What did she say? Wait, you gotta explain She posted this. a dancing video I did to her song. Oh. I said, here it is. I that's said, so cool. I died. It was what exciting. Was it? She put it on her Instagram, too. Oh, I figured that's where it was. No, her story and her actual oh, feed. Oh, like her feed. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was very exciting. What song was it? Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know the name of it. I you're just dancing to it, to it. Yeah. Jared. You probably when your song hit hundred thousand. Yeah, like the first time it did that, because then like, uh, like in Zach, Indy, Julie, like Riley, and all of them, like they surprised me. Like I came, like I was walking up the stairs at like Indy's place, like her her mom's place now, and uh, they had like a cake, and it had um, it had like the candles that had spelled out like a hundred thousand, you know. And then they're like, oh, congratulations! And they surprised me with it. And it was a really cute moment. My, I think you shed a tear. My, I, yeah, I did. Cause it was just like, it like kind of solidified it for me. Cause I was like, oh, I didn't believe that you deserved it. Zach. Huh? <laughs> oh, my bad. But for my first song, I was like, that's incredible. So, um, I was very thankful for that. Zach. I don't think I've had mine yet. You don't have, you, you don't, don't have, have like a, a single, single moment in your career where you've been proud. Like hitting no. 1 million or 2 million no. on TikTok. Are you I, kidding I, me? I was not proud of those. Like if I'm being completely honest, I'm like, but like, there's like a lot of the like, work you put in to like get there. Like, I always struggle with celebrating like accomplishments though. Because once I get there, I'm like, okay, but I actually want to be here and I'm not there yet. And I have a really bad habit of not enjoying. I don't think that's a good thing. I no, no like, it's not I good mean, at all. But it's like, it's, I've, I, you guys know this. I have a really hard time about getting excited about things like surprises. Don't surprise me. I'm going to have a terrible reaction. It makes me so jealous. That's what I think I wish I could have from other people is like excitement and like enjoying things and like. Like when all the you most guys excited I've ever seen Zach is when I told him I picked him up Pokemon cards and he went <gasps> <gasps> and I went really there are small things because you guys can go to a party and you guys can like drink and have a good time and like you guys are generally like dancing and singing and to even the music. if we don't drink and have like, even if we don't oh, drink we you know can what I mean. find something to do but you guys can like you guys are just laughing and having a great time and I cannot feel that at those things and I wish more than anything that I could why is that I don't know I cannot like I do not feel joy at those things I'm like. Like, this isn't fun to me. Like, but you guys can literally just sing your favorite songs at the top of your lungs and jump around and you guys are the happiest people. And I'm literally like, I wish I could feel any of this, but I'm like, nope. It's very sad. I w- <laughs> like. I feel so bad. No, like it's, I want more than anything to feel excitement, honestly. Yeah. It's like, I think that's like my biggest flaw. Interesting. And it's not that I think I'm better than anyone. 
Yeah. Or that like, no, I think the moment's stupid. Cause I was like, no, everyone's enjoying this. And I understand why they're enjoying this, but I can't enjoy this. Yeah. Why? Cause like, I remember when you, you hit, I don't know. Like, I wish I, I knew. I remember when you hit a million and we surprised you with like a little like brownie thing and like got the candles that said one mil on it. It was like, <laughs> you were definitely just I think like, he's more appreciative. Versus no, I, yeah, I'm not a, excited. No, I was not excited. I hit a million. I was appreciative that you guys did that for me. But yeah, like you were definitely just like entertaining our excitement for you. you yeah. Know? But like, I could tell no, that you I were just know. like, oh, like, there's so like yeah. when people surprise me, there's so much pressure because I know I'm terrible at showing excitement. I think once I, you get I feel appreciation, but I have a terrible way of like showing excitement. So I always feel bad when people surprise me because I'm like, I know I'm not going to give you the reaction you want, but I do appreciate it. Because like if like you've done stuff for me and how many times do I have to tell you that? like? And I know though, but once you get to know Zach, you know that like he is super appreciative of what you're doing and you just like, you're like, okay, like he just doesn't react the same way that people, other people would. And that's okay. Like, he is, like you still know he's very appreciative. Indy feels more excitement, anger, sadness, happiness in a day. That I wish I could. Just, I just want to. I don't care if it's the anger part. Like I could wish I could just feel any of those emotions <laughs> to the extent, dude. I want to feel what it feels like to feel as happy as Jared feels and like as like angry as you get sometimes. Like I want to know what that feels like. It's so it's awful. Well, I know, but just once. All right, uh, here we go. Here we got some. We got some video questions this time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, guys, we've also started to be doing. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> You're looking. We've for also your train been. Of thought. <laughs> we've also been answering a. a We've also been answering less fan questions in our actual podcast, and we've been answering them more on our stereo. The, I mean, I know this isn't the, the yeah, part. Yeah, we do a little after party after this. Uh, link in the description. You guys know the vibes. Come to the after party. Hi, dropouts. I have a friendship question. Um, after the summer, I'm going to be going into high school, and besides all the nerves that I have already, um, my friends and I are going to be like splitting up and going to different high schools. Um, and... I'm nervous that because we're going to different places that we're going to find new friends and stop talking. So can you help with some ways or advice that you can give me to make sure that we can still stay friends because we're really close now and I don't want to lose it. Hmm. Thank you. Love from Connecticut. Bye. I just thought that was so sweet and like that is sweet and wholesome. wholesome. And I know it's scary that you think you're going to lose your like middle school friends because that's all you know right now, but you're going to make some like your best friends in high school because everyone's going to be new. You guys are going to make friends. Um, I mean, if you guys live close, you know, you can set up weekends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like sad. It's just like sometimes like those, those people are exactly. there for that part of your life and you guys are going to get a little bit more distant. But if you're that close to friends, you'll find a way to stay together. There's no like magical advice that we know that can be like, you guys yeah. will be best friends because of this. Honestly, you guys might not be as good of friends, but you're going to find just as good friends in other places mm -hmm. but it's like we also i mean like we all you know none of us are from la but like we all have friends from back home and it's like no well, not me but yeah. well <laughs> you know <laughs> but i've but been here since i was like 12 exactly so but like you know zach and i was like we still have friends zach from back who, home dude i never know zach justice okay oh, i didn't know who you're talking holy about. holy hell sorry about that anyway so but it's like in today's age it's easier than ever to stay connected with people yeah, like facetime calling yeah like zach and showing up at their friend skyler and stuff like that you know they facetime all the time i i still snapchat like my friends and like send them funny pictures or whatever or text them just what's going on so it's like yeah i think you also have to make them. an effort if you want to be in contact with these people yeah. you have to make an effort but i like again like zach said i know it can be scary but you're moving on to a super super exciting time in your life and i think one of the most important life lessons i've ever learned is learning that some people are there for a certain time in your life and for that time period and that's all that they're needed for you know yeah, I mean? it's like, like it's like Indy. You're you're in our lives till about next Thursday, <laughs> but we're so thankful for the time before that. Yeah, yeah. So recently, the only thing I've been able to think about is like my future and like what I'm gonna be in life. And like maybe I'm too young to worry about it, but it's like the only thing taking over my mind is like, am I gonna be something good enough in the future? And it's like I don't know. I just like overwhelm myself with it. So, like, any advice on, because, like, like, I want to be a singer-songwriter, but I don't think I'm good enough at it to be anything that I want to. So, I guess it's just a lot of self-doubt, and, like, just any advice that you guys have on that would be great. I love your podcast. Yeah. Um, and teams, I don't really have a team. I really like all of you, because, like, Zach, I think you're so funny. Not true. Um, Jared. I just love you. Aww. And, and he's sexy. Indiana, it's just like everything I want to be in life. So like. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, so yeah. So tips about, you know, 
dealing with the stress and anxiety of what your future holds and not feeling like you're going to amount to anything. God, that's the most, yeah, I feel that, I know, no, that sounds so stupid. I have felt that way since I was about 14. It's like, obviously in my career, I've had highs and I've had lows and I've had really big highs and I've had really low lows and it's like so stressful especially in those highs I have never felt like I could enjoy them because I was always wondering oh how long is this gonna last like is this mm-hmm. just am I gonna be irrelevant next week or anything like that it's the most difficult difficult thing ever and I think one thing that I wish I enjoyed more was my journey to where I'm at right now and my journey to where I'm going to be in 10 years or 20 or 30 or wherever and I think that if you sit back and you work on your craft and if that's really what you want to do which is singing and songwriting which might I add is one of the most difficult scenes you can be in Jared knows it I know it we're still both struggling in the industry but we're making it effing work I'm doing pretty well though (laughs) oh yeah I'm a little butterfly or whatever how many butterflies do you see my little angel (laughs) can we put that out that's a bop I think that if you really work on your craft and you really work on being a singer songwriter not everyone's born with the most amazing songwriting ability and singing abilities mm-hmm. have you heard Ed Sheeran sing yeah like that's like, a yeah, clip that. I always go yeah, back to Ed Sheeran is right awful right mm-hmm. but work work at your craft every single day and enjoy the journey and you're young so am I I shouldn't be worrying about where I'm going to be all in 20 all of us are, all of us are babies in this room focus on the journey and have an amazing ride because you will never get that time back and the worry and the anxiety of like you'll You'll be put where you need to be put. I strongly yeah. believe that. So, yeah. Um, cheesy quote. If you give your 100% every day, things tend to work out. Mm-hmm. Uh, another cheesy quote. I think it's actually from Rick or Mo- Rick and Morty, but I don't know if it's uh, actually from that. But it says, um, everything's okay in the end. And if it's not okay right now, then it's not the end. Here we go. Before we get into the memes. Oh, first of all, I forgot about this. Um, I don't actually know his name maybe this is his actual name but this is dude's birthday he said hey dropout sunday is my birthday yeah so, right happy uh, birthday capalot underscore 21 happy birthday how do we know it's true i don't know okay. i didn't ask for his birthday. Well, we're sending you a cake well <laughs> jared jared will front the money uh uh-huh. jared get it done buddy Zach, moving on, moving on, moving on. Zach, you'll like this. This is our one and only dropouts mom. Oh, yeah. This submission. is a segment. Nobody else speak. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me oh, she's single. So wholesome. God. <laughs> I mean, the glasses. I want you to read a book to me, sweetheart, right, as I'm Zach. falling asleep. All right. Yeah. What is up? Stop it. I wouldn't mind just hanging out with you, you know? Talking okay, about your feelings. Can we just do memes now? It's making yeah, me you uncomfortable. Look like Jared, you take it off some, the screen. It's making me uncomfortable. He's some, not going to stop until you take it off. <laughs> yeah. God, you're such a little dirty. Good, okay, good. that's it. I'm cutting Whoa, it sorry, off guys, there. I was in a trance. <laughs> sorry, when I see a mom, I just get that way. It's not how I feel. It's like my kryptonite. Guys. Seriously, call me. And for the memes. Hungry. All right, hold on. We got two memes. Right, and then we're like, and then we're good. like my parents. All right, hold on. Just give me a second. So this one, I oh God, I don't want to put this up because I don't want to keep this rumor going but here we go zach uh, sitting at a table with a sign that says jared, jared is an alcoholic <laughs> change my mind jared. no one's there jared have you cleaned my truck of the throw up yet my literal yeah. i need a scrubber i need a I you need have a, one you okay, have one we, i bought you a scrub daddy okay have we had time recently yes. yeah we, you've i think had you've had time, time to go down there and be like boop, boop, you had boop. time to go to the brunch <laughs> Well, I will. No more brunches until, like, there's no throw up in my truck. I'll go clean it tonight after the podcast. I sure hope so. My granny's coming to town. Okay. Um, And then the next one. um, Also, God, roasting me. Here we go. Zach and Jared's styles are very different. (laughs) Zach and Jared's styles. (laughs) (laughs) Kevin Hart dressed as, like, that picture of the rock from the 90s. Who's who, do you think? Um, I kind of want to be Kevin Hart. He looks really good in that i do like honestly gonna, you're you're kevin hart because you're copying the rock style oh uh, yeah so yeah. you're literally wearing my jacket right now <laughs> you gave it to me i'm just saying and it looks good i like it yeah, um looks good on you and guess what the podcast is over but is it but no is no it? it is not because uh, we will catch us on the stereo app live uh where it's a little after party and we're gonna ask us questions and we're yeah, gonna you answer them talk to us yeah and guys just, link in the description we do a little after party after this um a live listen with all of us and you guys can uh ask us mm-hmm. questions live yeah, like it's really if, fun. If you have any leftover questions from the podcast, um, Jared and I are ready to tell you the beach story on this next no, live. No, we're on not stereo, telling you the beach story. But Indy well, won't let us. Maybe. So if you come, check it out. You know, maybe we can break her down so she'll finally do it. So after this podcast, Sundays, Tuesdays, and then Fridays. Sometimes we switch it up. See it at a little party.
Link in the description. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you there. Adios. Anyway, send out the podcast. Thank you guys so much for joining us for episode 39. Um, if you stay till the end, DM me on Instagram that Jared is a good kisser at midnight. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Indiana. <laughs> That's the joke. That <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's tr- run it back. Sorry, let's run it back, Turbo. <laughs> God, I'm struggling today. It's okay. It's the concussion. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. Allegedly. That's, that's Jared Burn. Can you just shut up and let me do the Yeah, can you shut up, Jared? That's Zach Justice. That's Jared Burn Music. Make sure to follow us on Dropouts Pod on Instagram. And, and if you we'll see us in public, give us a kiss. You know, see you Bye, guys. guys. No, no, no. Don't do that. There's a pandemic. Still a pandemic. See you guys Still? next week. I thought we wrapped that thing up last April. <laughs>